Okay, the prompt, she presses the button. Joe sat at the table, sweating in his panda costume, while Josephine twiddled her thumbs and fussed with her Tinkerbell wings. The withered African violet between them and the small rickety table reminded Joe that there was one more thing Josephine had to be angry about. Josephine seemed lost in thought, but Joe could never really tell anymore. Since they joined the Halloween Forever cult, Josephine had become more distant, more prone to anger, but also incredibly more sensual and sexually demanding. Joe asked, can I take it out now? Josephine gave him a look that said, no fucking way, not in this life, not while I'm around, but suddenly smiled, her whole body smiled, and her Tinkerbell wings shook. Yes, Joe, take it off, move your body, let me see you, feel you, now, please. Joe, terrified and delighted, reached around the side of the panda suit, fumbling with the heavy buttons, just a bit too large for the buttonholes. He stopped midway. What about the baby? Josephine glared, picked up the withered plant and threw it against the wall. The baby, the baby, that's all you think about, the baby. Joe stammered, but it's our baby. Doesn't it need us? Josephine smiled again, leaned in across the table and cooed, not like I need you, I need you right now. Joe redoubled his efforts with the costume, eager now to grasp the moment Josephine was offering. Hurry, hurry, Josephine reminded, and reminded Joe that this moment could disappear at any time. Just as he finished unbuttoning the last button, relieving himself of fur and sweat, Joe looked up to see Joseph Josephine smirking, mysterious, and disappearing as she presses the button. Thank you. Thank you.